Hey, uh, I was I had the honor of being invited to play in a Jay Wiley's birthday, Wiley's game day. So that was pretty cool. Jay is the top left. Scott is uh, the opponent on the top right. And, of course, myself, Wardrobe, we're in the robe. So let's take a look about it. We played a little Victorian science fiction, bigger, fistful of lead, bigger battles. Um, that's the cool thing about the, the game. You can play any era. Um, so let's Let's go at it. The setup is I'm coming from the bottom right. I am British. I've got a spider and a steam tank and some troops. And I basically, it's a meeting engagement. He ran two other games, so he just made it a simple one. You can see my leader, Tenant Thurman Smutley, son of the Empire. And then you have my hero, Sir Nigel Tufnell, 11th Earl of Spindletap. Fun stuff. So basically, I just want to talk about kind of the walk through the game. Um, yeah, so I'll show this video here. Um, my impervious armor suit with the Gatling gun took out his West helicopter immediately. And I think that kind of was like a bummer for uh, Scott because, uh, you know, he was going to provide some damage there. Next thing up is some video from Jay Wiley showing the, you know, the, the view from the table. The view from my French troops and then the view from my spider tank and the little puffs of smoke to show that they were, their steam engines were going, which could fail and stop, which my, like my impervious suit did. And then the next turn, uh, Scott blew up my steam engine tank. Boo-hoo. This shot is cool because you can see it's from the view of his tank, Scott's tank, and you can see my spider there. And then my spider took him out. So you can see down the bottom left there, his tank is gone. And then he's got his troops up top moving towards me. So if you look at the top, the, the left, on number one, his troops kind of went into this little corner, which apparently in the previous two games had become the corner of death. It would prove to be the same. His troops up at number two, up top, uh, moved into the fence to try to make some progress there, and I'd just kind of gotten a little too slow. And then at the bottom is where my French and Hero were joined up, and they were about to lay waste to those guys up in the corner. And I was going to flank him with that impervious suit that, again, never started up again. But the French and Hero took care of business at the number one, cleared out that corner, and then my guys took care of that troops up there, number two, and so his Hero started running away. And at that point, we had to recall the game because it was my eight or seven units against his two single guys, so that was a game. the game was over. Uh, fun game. I had a lot of great roles, um, uh, and uh, Scott was fun to play with. Of course, Jay was fun. Fun, fun, um, you know, just silly antics and heroes with funny names and cool traits and Fistful of Lead Bigger Battles is uh, becoming a, a favorite game of mine. I want to put on another World War II one here very soon to keep trying it out and seeing if I want to use it as kind of my platoon versus platoon game. So that was that. Thanks, Jay and Scott, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.